So it's a cold, rainy day. Yeah, with the emphasis on cold, it's like <laughs> barely not snowing. It was really cold one this morning when I got up to take Ruby out and did the animals. <laughs> Who does Ruby and the animals almost every morning? I don't know. Who's counting? <laughs> <laughs> Who's done it one morning? Well, I knew it was very knew. nice. He did it. I was exhausted. He knew I needed to sleep in. So he was willing to do that for me. <laughs> so, But most mornings, it's Ruby and I doing the morning stuff. That's because you're a morning person. I am a morning person. Uh huh. So that was very morning. sweet of him, but can't give him all the credit. <laughs> all right. So, I mean, what are we going to do today? It's, it's... It is a perfect day to make soup. Yeah, soup would be great. And I'm you thinking... know, you could do, a, a, or you could do a couple other things like, um, well, even bacon. The bread is beautiful. You can bake some more bread. I'll be doing sourdough. a sourdough video soon. Yeah, or a, kefir. Yeah, I drink my kefir every morning. We did do a fire cider video. I still do my shot of fire cider every morning. I've kind of fallen off that bandwagon, but I yeah. do like the kefir. I yeah. have that every morning. Yep, good for your innards. Keeps everything moving. <laughs> okay, so soup, it is a rainy soup day. Yeah. So what soup are you gonna make? Gonna then? make the easiest one there is. Barbecue chicken soup. It is delicious, and I'm, I'm serious. It's the easiest soup I've ever made in my life. It's fix it and forget it. And it is super flavorful. It is amazing. <laughs> so you're gonna enjoy it. Yeah, and it's pretty hearty too. You can mm -hmm. have it as a whole meal. Yeah, we I do, think. we do. And you can add stuff yeah. to it to make it even better yet. Especially if you have good sourdough with yeah. it or something. Yeah, and we'll be having sourdough with it. <laughs> So join us on the Wardenberg Family Farm today as we make barbecue chicken soup in this rainy day. That was a good breakfast. It was amazing especially the sour cherry jam. <laughs> yeah, that is really good. I love that. If you've never made sour cherry jam, it's scrumptious. I'll definitely be doing a video on that this year when the cherries come in. Yep. That's my favorite. So it sounds like you've decided on soup today. I did, barbecue chicken, for sure. <laughs> and okay. I'm gonna make a special dessert. Yeah? It's a very easy dessert, so today's an easy day. Easy soup, easy, easy dessert. Well, everybody else loves both of them, yeah. too. Yeah. That ice cream dessert is so good, it's shocking, and people are surprised how simple it is. Mm -hmm. Not that I've ever made it. <laughs> <laughs> You've watched me make it. But it's, a very, it's very simple to make. Yeah. So, so I'm going to help today around mm -hmm. a little bit, and then I've got some work to do. Um, it's spring, and there are a lot of bees in the area and other farms that have uh, beehives, so I need to put swarm traps out. And I'm about halfway done making them. So I can't put them up in the trees today, but I can make the traps so that when these swarms are out buzzing around our place, we hopefully will capture a couple of them. So right now we have four hives. They all survived the winter, and we might get some more. Yeah, we're going to have lots of honey oh, this year. It's we're going to have twice as much as any other year. Yeah, that's okay. We'll take care of it and we'll sell it. That's no problem. All right, so do you have everything you need? I have everything I need for the soup in the larder, but I need you to get some ice cream for the dessert. Okay. Vanilla ice cream. All right, and your larder's still making it through the winter? Yes, some things are almost out, but we're gonna do okay. Yeah, and pretty soon things will be growing. Yeah? Fresh stuff. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Okay, I did the larder. When I say the soup is easy, I'm not kidding. Crock pot. Three nice sized chicken breasts. One, two, three. A towel to wipe your chicken hands off with. <laughs> Dump in two cups of barbecue sauce. I'm using my homemade stuff. Now I do always keep some sweet baby rays on hand. So in the end, if it doesn't taste quite barbecue enough, if that's a word, I add more. So roughly two cups of barbecue sauce or more. As with all my recipes, it's personal preference how much of everything. And one quart of chicken broth. Mm -hmm. 
set the crock pot on low for like seven hours and I'll check it after a few hours and see see how it's doing when it's completely cooked you just shred the chicken and add the rest so let that go for seven hours and go do rest? a bunch of what other stuff mean? I'll show you at the end okay <laughs> But it's very simple soup, and it is it's really good. <laughs> you did it all without Ruby's help. I know. For those of you who don't watch our channel, we just got a new puppy, Ruby. What, four weeks ago? Yeah. yeah. She's a beautiful little red fox Labrador. So we'll give you a quick update on Ruby, so you actually see how she's doing and how much she's grown already. Hey, Ruby, come. <laughs> you wanted her to come to you. She did. <laughs> Ooh, it's starting Let's to cook. Take a look. It's just starting. It'll be simmering all afternoon. Okay. It smells really good. So now it's time for dessert. He got back from Giant got me the ice cream and I'm ready to make ice cream dessert. And that's all we've ever called it. It's a dish that his mom has made for years and then I started making it and it's just ice cream dessert. <laughs> Not real descriptive, but it is. It's ice cream, walnuts, and vanilla wafers. And mm. it's amazing when you try it. And all you do is chop up the walnuts, my handy dandy pampered chef chopper. That's my favorite chopper ever. And you can chop them as little or as big as you want. And I don't measure. I just do what I think I want. Probably like maybe a three quarter cup total. But again, it's personal preference. And you could use pecans, you could use other nuts too. I kind of like almonds I or walnuts I think the best. But what makes it is vanilla wafers. So how long have you had that chopper? Oh, long time. I actually have two of them. The nuts kind of beat them up, but. Yeah. It holds up pretty good. So it's Pampered Chef. Yeah, Pampered Chef Chopper. And I use that, oh, that goes through the war. So we have... Well, it's just convenient because it's so small, it's easy to clean. Yeah, it is. You just yeah. put it in the dishwasher. Yeah. And then the Nilla Wafer is the easiest way to do this. You can get a rolling pin out and crush them and do all that, but this is easier if you have a food processor. So I learned a... Well, it was my fault. I learned a... A tough lesson about these cookies one time, didn't I? <laughs> he bought the cheap brand. Some things you can buy the cheap brand and there's no difference. Vanilla wafers, there's a difference. Yeah, you this, have to get the good You have to get stuff. the good ones or it just doesn't taste right. It yeah. really doesn't. The Nabisco. Yes. So I'm gonna make some noise with my food processor and just get them till they're, you know, they're crummy as you want them to be. That looks good. And if there's some big hunks, that's not a big deal. And actually, you can't always take the big hunks and just... Uh. Wait, where'd that one go? <laughs> I lost track of it. I don't know where it went. <laughs> oh, I forgot. There's one ingredient I forgot about. It's um, vanilla wafers and the walnuts. But you need to have melted butter to mix in with some of it. Not all of it. Some of it. But you mix that together. What, did you have butter in there? Not yet. Okay. Now it comes in a minute. You mix them all together. Oh, there's another big one. Take care of that one. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna pull some of this out into a separate bowl to sprinkle on the top when I'm done. And you, you see got this? a helper over here. Oh right? yeah, she's being good right now. Really yeah. good. Do you know something today? <laughs> Is National Puppy Day. Yeah, the day. Well, she's got something it's in her mouth. Saturday. What's it, the 24th, I think? Something like that. Whatever. When we pulled up the internet today, it says National it's National Puppy, Puppy day. day. So happy National Puppy Day, Ruby. We'll give you an update then and tell you all about her. She's the latest addition to the farm. Yeah. So I need to melt a half a cup of butter and I'll show you the rest then. All right. All right, okay. got my half cup of butter melted. I'm just going to pour it into the remaining. Cookie crumbs and so nuts. regular salted butter? Yep, salted butter. So again, this is not a low calorie, low fat <laughs> dessert. It's just very delicious and easy. 
Now all I'm going to do with this is press it into the bottom of that 9 by 13 pan. And that is the crust. Okay, for the so dessert. you have two, right now you have two bowls. Yes, one, one with butter with on it. With most of it in there, with butter mixed in. I kept like a cup, cup and a quarter out to put sprinkle on the top. Okay. You don't have to keep it out to sprinkle on the top, but I like oh, it. Oh, absolutely you do. I like it that way. Yeah. So get your little cookie crumb, walnut, butter stuff all mixed up. Pour it in a pan. 9 by 13 pan. Mm. And then even it out and smush it. Technical term there, smush. And this is a pretty thick crust. You can make it thinner, thicker. Mm -mm. It's kind of whatever, yeah. We like it thick. But that's enough crust. You probably could almost get like two pans. Oh, one and a half. Now I gotta clean all the butter off my hand. And then comes the part scooping the ice cream in. And I've actually had this ice cream sitting out since he got back from Giant about 45 minutes ago. That's you want the, the ice cream store. softened. That's our local grocery store. Giant. Yeah. Giant food. Yeah. So now it's pretty soft. You want to kind of like spoon it out evenly over the thing, over the crust. And we're going to let it soften some more. Now, if we were really out. ambitious, we'd have made our own homemade ice cream. Yeah, well, this summer we should do that. There. This summer I want to do that. Yeah. We said that last summer, never got around to it, but this summer we're going to do it. Our grandkids love that. We did that when we used to have a cottage in the mountains, we'd make ice cream. Yeah. Now we need to do it again. Strawberry ice cream or just vanilla ice cream with strawberries on it? Vanilla ice cream with strawberries on it. Yeah, that's better than strawberry ice cream. Yes. Now, peach ice cream is delicious. Okay. My mom used to make the best peach ice cream. And I like peaches. Uh oh. oh. She has her toy. We hear some weird sound, we think a dog's in trouble. But she actually has one of her toys. She's being good. Okay. So one container of ice cream is in this pan. And it's going to have to sit probably for about 10 more minutes till it's soft enough <coughs> to just really smooth out all over the container. So it's just sitting and waiting then. So you can see where this is going, right? <laughs> this just gets flattened out. Look at that. Smoothed out. The crumbs poured over the top. Refrigerate or freeze it. And now here's the thing. You freeze it, but you want to let it thaw out for probably 10, 15 minutes before you try to slice it because it can get really hard frozen and then you can't really get it sliced. So you kind of have to, you know, take it out of the freezer about 10 minutes before you want to eat. Let it soften a little bit so you can slice it. It's a matter of perspective. It looks like uh, <laughs> giant mountains and glaciers. Yeah, it is. Giant mountains and glaciers of ice cream. Mm -hmm. And the crumb okay. topping, cookies and walnuts. All right, so we just have to wait a little bit. Yep, and then here's one really important part too. Oh. You have to have the hot fudge over the top. Yeah, it's better than Chocolate sauce. Oh, you got to have hot fudge. Yeah, hot fudge. I need to learn how to make my own. Yeah. That's something I've never made. So mm. one of these days I'll try that. But for right now, Mrs. Richardson's pretty good. <laughs> just as good as Mrs. Wardenberg's. Okay. So we'll just wait for that to melt, smooth it out, and I'll show you how it looks in the end. Well, here's our girl. We've had her for four weeks. So she's like 12 weeks old now, 11 or 12. And she's pretty good. I mean, she's a puppy. She bites and chews on things and <sighs> tries to chew on furniture, tries to chew on clothes, but we have a lot of toys for her to chew on. But she overall has been a breeze as far as puppies can be. She actually sleeps through the night most nights. We put her up there about nine o'clock in her crate. And this morning it was what, seven, seven fifteen. You got her out and took her down. Yeah. So you are an angel at night <laughs> when she's asleep. All right, ice cream's nice and melted and goopy. It's just a matter of flattening it out, smoothing it out. Making it kind of even. Now what do you do when you have a spoonful of ice cream? <laughs> Had to clean it off. Uh huh. Now, sprinkle the crumbs over the top. The cookie crumbs and the walnuts mixed. Get some on the edges there without making too big of a mess. And maybe press down just a tiny bit. And put saran wrap on it, stick it in the deep freeze for dinner. That's kind of stick. Nice. 
Have we ever tried this with another kind of ice cream or wouldn't it work? No, you probably could. But somehow the vanilla just works. And the hot fudge over top of it. <laughs> it, it really works. When we usually, usually the family comes and they eat it all. There's none left. But if we make it for just ourselves and we have it left, we'll actually slice it all in pre determined sizes and then freeze it like individual little squares so that any night we want it we get it out plop it on a plate melt some hot fudge and we have dessert and it keeps great in the freezer just put it in a little freezer bag there we go so there's dinner and dessert probably in 10 maybe 15 minutes time and i probably still have another five ten minutes to do on the soup later but man it's an easy meal i'm getting hungry for dinner already i know <laughs> i love barbecue chicken soup so i'm going to enjoy dinner very much and dessert. Soup's ready for the last phase. It's been simmering all day in the crock pot. The chicken is nice and tender and ready to shred. <laughs> Oops. Almost missed. You'll see, it just falls apart. Oh my goodness. It just, it's so tender, it just falls right apart. So you just shred it into little bites and we'll put it right back in the pot all Almost shredded. Like shredded chicken soup. Yeah, well you don't want big honking bites of chicken. You want little, you know, yeah. little bits. So, but doing it in the crock pot slow like that all day just makes it so tender. But see, then I'm gonna put it back in and it's gonna simmer for one more hour. Then all the little pieces get that flavoring in it. Okay, so when do you put the other ingredients in? After I get all the chicken shredded. Okay. So I'll well, come back we'll after back. I get them all shredded. We'll be back in a minute. All right. After I shredded the chicken, I put it all back in the soup. Now it's all nice and sh little pieces and getting soupy. And then I add the last two ingredients. And I'll show you the recipe. Let's this is black beans. Okay. Pretty mushy black beans. They're my home canned black beans. I got pretty mushy. But I'll show you the, the uh, quantities they say in the recipe, but it's up to you how black beany you want it. And the last ingredient is corn. Depends how corny you want it. I like it pretty corny. So I use one of our big bags of corn from our corn. This is our sweet corn we grew last year. But you put all that stuff in, let it simmer for an hour. We'll taste it and see if we think we need a little bit more barbecue sauce. And at this point, you can look at it and say, oh, I think it needs a few more beans. Oh, I think it has, needs a little more corn. You make it however you want it. Like I say, I'll give you the quantities they say in the recipe, but at this point, it's all personal preference. So the chicken cooked in there for like nine hours, but... Um, seven, eight pulled, hours. Okay, so when you pulled all the chicken apart and put yeah. it in there, mm -hmm. is the open chicken now gonna absorb some yes. of the... Yes, yes, it'll all absorb that flavor. Okay. But then after it cooks for an hour, we're gonna taste it, because I usually end up putting a little bit of extra barbecue sauce in so it. So it's gonna be plenty soupy? Plenty soupy. If not, I can always add more chicken broth. That's right. You like it very, very soupy, so we might be adding more chicken broth, too. It's okay. all personal preference. So we'll be back in an hour to do a taste test. Well, this is where Donnie comes in. If you've watched any of our other soup recipes, he is the final taste tester and adjuster. He makes everything better. Yeah, that's because there's a small draft pool here. There's... You're good at that. There's nobody else. So, he okay. Seems to add just the right thing. All right, all right. We're going to give it our best shot, you know. First of all, looking at this, it looks beautiful and I like the the mix of the beans and and the way the uh, chicken all broke up and the corn. So, I think that's good. Let me just get a little flavor here. Mm. The plate, the base flavor is really good, but it's a little bland mm -hmm. right now. So it needs amped up. I almost always add more barbecue sauce. Yeah, but it needs salt, pepper, like something that look like chipotle. Chipotle chili powder is what yeah. I use a lot. Maybe even a little bit of smoke. I like and, smoke. And definitely some more barbecue. So either more of your homemade barbecue sauce, which I love. I like to add some sweet baby rays. Or we can do I mean, that. Mine's good, but there's something about sweet baby rays. Okay. I'm gonna start adding uh, stuff. Start putting some stuff in here. Some chipotle. I guess I shouldn't go crazy with this. No. And again, it's personal preference. If you like things really spicy, put a lot of hot pepper in. You yeah. Know. You can make it. This is when you make it your own. Um. Do we have coarse ground pepper, or like just? Just use that. I mean, this is gonna take. 
Well, it depends how much you want to put in. Yeah. Okay. Well, that'll be a start. You can always... We almost always always pepper our soup right when we eat it, Pepper to taste, you know. There. Doesn't he look like a chef? Yeah. No, I think I uh, do this more like a mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do, it usually works. You know, so that'll start to bring some flavors up here. Uh, but I think definitely smoke and barbecue sauce. Yeah. You got a whole pile of fresh spoons for me back here. Is yeah, that the last one? Yeah, that's I the one you used. Used right there? Okay. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll test it again here. Oh, look at that chicken. Mm. It is so tender. Mm. That's helping already, but um, I need a little more chipotle yet. <laughs> a little more heat. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, that's a good amount. I buy king size bottles of chipotle chili powder because I use it in almost everything. Yeah. All right, a little bit of smoke now here. Now this you go light. Oh, go light with that one. Oh, that was light. Glug. <laughs> one glug. Okay, one glug. One that's glug. a new cooking term, technical term. Yep, oh, that's definitely going to have a little bit of mysterious Smoky. smokiness, which There's I like. There's some smoke in my handmade barbecue sauce, but not Man. a ton. Sweet baby rays. All right, well, let's mix that in. And it's been going for about mm, 25 minutes after we put the chicken and all the other ingredients in it. Basically, that's just to warm up the corn and the beans. Yeah. So we tasted it, and after we get everything in, we'll probably simmer it another 15, 20 minutes, maybe at least. Ooh. Smell good. Yeah, we're making progress. With I can smoke. tell. smoke. I can tell. Okay, here we go. Last spoon you have out for me, so I think you, I get three shots out of it. You can always get it. another spoon, too, till you get it right. Mmm. That's good. That's good. Yeah, there is. It need a little bit more of anything. I'm tasting the Chipotle. Uh oh. That's enough. <laughs> That's good. And it has a little bit of after smoky, so that's good. Um, and you know, I don't think I, I don't think I'm going to add any more um, of the broth. I think we're okay with okay. that. Um, just you're, you're a the guy smidge, that likes it soupy, so it's just a smidge and more of now. that. And I think we're going to be good to go. Okay, so we'll let it simmer for another uh, 20 minutes or so. Yeah. See if it's hot enough, and we will have dinner. Oh, looks great too. Yum. Well, we have our dinner ready. Our barbecue chicken soup, some red raspberry applesauce, and some sourdough. So the moment of truth. Yeah. I gotta taste my sourdough. Now food. you can sprinkle cheese on the top and you can put sour cream in it if you want to. Those are two options. Anything else you wanna put in it too. <laughs> but I wanna try it plain first. Are you ready? You put sourdough in first. <laughs> I have to cleanse my palate with the sourdough <laughs> bread. Okay, my palate's ready. <laughs> okay. Okie doke. Go. Yeah. Very good. Not too spicy, not too smoky. It's perfect. It is perfect. It is. Mm. And isn't it easy? It and you can go so many different directions with it and you know make it yours, personalize it any way you want, but mm. I like it just like this. Yeah, and I like it with the, I like the texture because we really, you really fine shredded mm -hmm. all that chicken. Mm -hmm. So it's very tender. Yeah, very it's amazing good. how tender the chicken is. Yeah. And everything, so it'll actually taste probably better tomorrow because everything absorbs the flavors. This might be the hardiest soup mm. that you make. It Maybe. definitely is in the top five. Yeah, it's one of our top five soups. Yeah. And it could, it's a meal. Yeah. We're just having the soup. That's it, you know? Mm -hmm. Now, after this, we do have our ice cream dessert coming. So we have to make sure we save room for dessert. Can't, there's always room <laughs> for ice cream. Oh yeah, it has to be. <laughs> so we'll catch you in a few minutes. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. It's been a little while since we've had it. It has, yeah. 
but I think it's the best simple dessert. I mean, there are is, other desserts is. out there that but this you know, is they might be better. Easy. And but our kids special. all love this, and the grandkids. Maybe I'll make this for the Easter dessert. Could be. We'll see. So how was the rest of your day? What else did you get done? I got a lot done while yeah. soup was cooking. I got 105 tomatoes potted up into three-inch pots. I potted up like 140 zinnias into six-pack things. And some other flowers got potted up. And I worked with Ruby, training her. Took her for a long walk. Phew. Yeah, it was a good day. Good. How about you? Well, as you know, I ran errands all morning because it was raining all morning. And then later in the afternoon, it stopped. It got a little bit breezy, but it actually got nice for a little. So I got to get a coat of paint and, um, and work on my uh, swarm uh, boxes. So they're not done yet, but you got some done. I should be able to get them up this week. Need lots of hot fudge. Yeah. We ready for dessert now? Awesome. Something about the combination of this, it just works. Oh, it absolutely does. And uh, your guests will not be disappointed. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Just as I remembered. Mm -hmm. Yum. I mean, he ate this as a child. You know, his yeah. childhood. This is a childhood memory. Now it's a childhood memory for all of our kids, and it's becoming one for our grandkids. I mean, how you can't really go wrong with hot fudge on vanilla ice cream. Yeah. That's not a stretch. And but cookies and the walnuts. Some people might not like the nuts. You could make it without the but nuts. But I think the nuts and the vanilla wafers and other just add another yeah. element yeah. of interest, and that's what makes it really special. I think. Yeah. So but it works. thank you. I appreciate hey, this. I do too, very much. <laughs> so thanks for joining us as we made a very simple dinner and a very simple dessert. And we will see you in our next video. Bye-bye.